Hi, I'm Hayley Victoria and welcome back to my Crime and Policing channel. In today's session, I'm just going to be covering some more police rank structure stuff as I've had a few questions about this in particular. So we're looking at the Metropolitan Police Service in London. So I'm guessing quite a few of you ever live in London or you work down there. Maybe you want to police down there, which is super cool. And it is different to the rest of, um, you know, us, which I appreciate must be kind of confusing when you're looking at police rank structures. Most of them are the same, like your top ranks are called something different and there's a couple of additional roles in there too. But don't forget policing is so different across the UK, so what they might need to do in Chesterfield is so different to what they're going to need to do in Birmingham because you match resources to demand and crime streams are totally different depending on the area. Okay, so let's go from the bottom to the top again. And when I say bottom to the top, I don't mean they're any less important because they're not, okay? So um, in terms of numbers though, you get loads more police constables than you do superintendents because it works like this, okay? It's <laughs> like my little visual representation there. So like I said, the, the boots on the ground are your police constables, your police officers, that's your first warranted rank in the Metropolitan Police Service. Then you'll have your sergeants, so your sergeant's like your team leader. Then you have your inspector who looks after the sergeants and then the police constables. So already we've got this pyramid going like that. After your inspector is your chief inspector. Then you have your superintendents. This is all the same as to what it was in the other rank structure video we did before. After your superintendent, you get your chief superintendent. Now, as I mentioned, uh, where I, I am based, um, we'd have one chief superintendent for a district, whether that be Doncaster or Rotherham or Barnsley or Sheffield. You have one chief superintendent for that whole area, which can be massive, right? Um, yeah, like Sheffield's a massive city. So you've got your chief superintendent there, okay? Now it starts to get a bit different. It starts to change up a little bit down in the MPS. So then you have your commander. After your commander, you get your deputy assistant commissioner. After your deputy assistant commissioner, you get your assistant commissioner. Then you get your deputy commissioner and then you get your commissioner. Commissioner always makes me think of Batman, you know, like Commissioner Gordon, I don't know, it just does. So yeah, that's that's Metropolitan Police, which is so obviously different to the rest of us. But you know, London's a different place altogether. I love a good night out in London and yeah, keeping us safe. Thanks, Met. So just to run through that again in like a quicker order, police constable, sergeant, inspector, chief inspector, superintendent, chief superintendent. They're all the same as they would be elsewhere. So up where I am, up in the north, that's the same there, okay? Then it starts to get a bit different. We have commander, deputy assistant commissioner, assistant commissioner, deputy commissioner, and then your commissioner. Okay, it's definitely different, but it still works in that hierarchical way. So there's still that chain of command. And the higher up you get, the less people there are in those roles. And those people in those roles are trained specifically for those jobs. They're not just gonna let anybody go and do that. They've probably got a lot of different specialisms and they have like a, when we go to operations as well, you'll have your bronze, silver and gold commands. Your gold commanders are always the highest ranking people there. So your commissioner rank is like the highest rank, okay? And they must have got so much, so much training and that's why they're in the job that they do. They have to make life or death situations every single day. Um, yeah, so thank you the Met for keeping us safe and hopefully that clears up some of those questions for you that I've had in the chat. Thank you very much and um, stay safe and please don't commit any crimes.